Oh, yo. What's good, guys? Back up with another. Back up with another vlog, guys. Uh uh. Today. It's, it's all so quick. Today, I got this box, right? I gotta um, kidnap somebody to get it. No, I'm just joking, guys. I didn't kidnap nobody. Or did I? No, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna just be unboxing this. I know I ripped this so you guys don't track me down and, I don't know, assassinate me. But, um,. Uh, we're just gonna open it, I guess. I know my face is not really in the video. Oh, crap, bro. All right, I fixed it. All right, so this is a box. All right, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, guys. Cause I gotta open it. I'm just gonna open it, and show you what it is, and end the video. That's literally that's literally all I'm doing. So, ah. all right, now time to open it. Uh. I'm just going this way. Just cut it through. Okay. There we go. Guys, it's the wrong box. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Oh wait, it's actually the wrong box. Hold up. Wait, it's, it's the wrong box. Psych. It's the right box of boxes. Yup, I know. It's the new Diary to Wimpy Kid, but... Oh, I thought it was actually dirty. You see those stains right there? I actually thought it was dirty. Uh, so, this, so this is what I got. The new Diary of Wimpy Kid book. I know it's like reverse because like my camera's like that, I guess. But yeah, we I got the new Diary of Wimpy Kid book, I guess. No, I read um Oh wait, okay, yeah. So I read this one, 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 this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm still currently reading. I read this one. I'm currently reading this one. That one I think I also have. Yeah, I also have that. So these two I didn't read. I'm going to read the black one, then the green one, then this one. So that means I'm not going to read it now. But um, here, here, I'll, I'll read to page 10 for you guys. So, we, so we, we got this yellow background, all right, type, goes hard, and, and you got this creepy, I'm about to kill you message, like a threat or something, and then you got like a, like a table of contents, I think. Right here it says, Diary to Wimby Kid, oh, it's just all the books, okay, never mind. But yeah, anyways, you got one, Diary to Wimpy Kid, two, Roderick Rules, three, The Last Straw, four, dog, you guys know it, I'm not going to say it. My bad, my camera's being not sick, I'm not taking it. Yeah, now you, now you got this goofy title. It says, Diary to Wimpy Kid, Hot Mess by Jeff Kenny. Shout out to Jeff Kenny. And it says to, to Paul Anthony. That's what it says right there. Don't mess what that was. All right, first page. Not this one, this one. All right, it says Monday. No, all right, we start right here. June, Monday. Oh, let me just, let me just, uh, yeah. Just try to see that. Hold on, let me, let me be smart for this. Alright, you guys still can't see. I don't care. Too bad. My dad's 
always saying you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. And even though I can, oh my God. And even though I get the, his meaning, it doesn't exactly make me want to share a bowl of popcorn with him. And you got his dad smacking on popcorn, digging in the bowl, as you guys can see. Okay, you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can see that. I'm not gonna hold him, I'm not doing that. He's right about family, though, because the second you're born, you're automatically in a group of people you never asked to be part of. It's a boy trap. In fact, when you're born, a bunch of stuff has already been decided for you, like where you live and even what language you speak. But since you can't actually talk yet, you can't tell the people taking care of you that mushed up prunes and carrots are a bad combination comment down below what prunes are because i don't know what that is i like i think he likes it mm. oh. That's fine. you guys think he likes it okay you guys, you guys think okay we're good we're good the first thing you learn as a kid is that grown-ups are the ones in charge and the second thing you learn is that they don't always make the best decisions. Meet the Easter Bunny. Then you find out that the people in charge of you have people who are in charge of them. At least that's the way it is in my family. Where grandma's the one who... Can you spell grandma wrong? It says grandma's right there. Grandma's. I know it's I know it's reversed. If you guys got like a, a reverse video website thing, I don't know. Good for you, I guess. Grandma's the one who calls the shots, but you'd know never know she had so much power just by looking at her. I make you your favorite cookies. She's about to assassinate everybody with those cookies. There's actually a whole story to how grandma, I'm gonna just say grandma, cause I know it says grandma, but I'm gonna just say grandma. Grandma became the head of our family. When my great grandmother, me, me ma passed away, someone needed to step up to talk, take her place as our leader. But since grandma was the, the youngest of four sisters, dang, it didn't look like she'd be the one to take over the family. That's tough. But then something, happened that changed all that for easter brunch one year i don't know what easter brunch is grandma made a pot of meatballs and everyone went crazy for them look look, look at everybody chewing but that's wild bro this is, she said choo choo she also said choo choo she also said choo choo he said choo choo also she said choo choo and he said choo choo as well isn't that crazy guys great uncle uh, had man declared that grandma was the best cook in the family everybody else agreed which i'm sure was hard for her older sisters it just felt like pizza sauce like like pasta sauce on the, on the i swear it was just pasta sauce i'm tripping bro i am geeking guys anyways yeah we're right here somebody's like blushing i guess i don't know because they're, they're calling uh, Grandma, Grandma, whatever you call her, her food delicious. Which is pretty scabby. The way it works in my family is that if you're the best cook, you get to host the big holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. But Grandma's older sisters all live far away and they don't like to travel on the holidays. So Great Aunt Lou came up with a special recipe of her own to try and one up Grandma. But she just couldn't top grandma's meatballs. Care for some spinach dip? Gulp. Look at that. She She's serving it like a lunch lady. Ever since grandma introduced her special meatballs, everyone's been trying to get her to tell them the secret recipe. But grandma's no dummy. She knows that giving it up will be giving up her, her power. 
So she just tells everyone that her meatballs only have one ingredient, and it's love. Tight, tight. Nobody seems satisfied with that answer, though, and lately, a few of my aunts have been trying to steal the recipe. Bro, this is like a Spongebob episode, guys. Last Christmas, Aunt Gretchen tried to sneak away with a few meatballs so she could take them to a lab and get them analyzed for their ingredients. The only reason she didn't get away with it was because Grandma's dog, Sweetie, sniffed them out before she could get to her car. Bark, bark, bark. Look at that tiny dog, bro. Can you guys see it? That's your tiny dog right there. Look at it. It looks like dog, man. Like, that was a dog. Look kind of like my dog, but fat. Oh, my God. Damn. You guys see my dog? Look at him, guys. He, 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 see, he's not, he's not that fat. Wait, he's kind of fat, but, like, all right. Let's, let's get back to it. That one night, Aunt Andra... I suck at names. Audra came to stay with Grandma and hid her phone in a kitchen cabinet so she could record Grandma making a batch of meatballs. Meatballs. But Grandma discovered the hidden phone and put it in the garbage disposal. <laughs> Yo. Everybody's always telling Grandma her, her recipe is so good. She, she, she should open a restaurant and make a pile of money. My aunt Ver Veronica is a business woman, and she uh, she even came up with a plan for a whole chain of restaurants that would serve grandma's meatballs from my kitchen to yours. But grandma shut that idea down by saying that you can can't get a real home cooked meal in a restaurant, and her meatballs were only for the family. I don't mean to sound harsh or anything, but I hope Grandma starts sh her shares, sorry, shares her recipe with someone in the family soon, because she's not getting any younger. In fact, she just moved out of her house and into an ass assisted living center a few miles away. Mom says Grandma's happy there because she's with people her age and they have lots of activities. But I, I sure hope my kids don't try and ship be off to a place like that when I'm old because I'm actually looking forward to being a burden to my children. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, I have COVID. Grandma's turning 75 soon and my mom and her sisters told Grandma they wanted to throw a big party for her birthday. But Grandma says she doesn't want anyone to go to any trouble for her and she doesn't have the energy for a party like that anymore. And Grandma said what would make her really happy is if everyone else went to Ruddy Neck Island where the family used to vacation back when mom and her sisters were kids. Grandma said that the only gift she wanted was a photo of the whole family on the beach with the old lighthouse in the background, like the picture she keeps in her apartment. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here because this is page 10. Can y'all see that? Oh my phone being skibbity, bro. Okay, yeah, I think y'all can see that. I'm going to end at page 10. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to end it there. All right, that's the video, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, I guess, for um, somebody in special needs. I don't know. Subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Bye.